Hi everyone again. So in the previous lesson we looked at Oracle Identity Manager Identity Console and in this lesson we are going to look at fourth and the final console in Oracle Identity Manager that is System Admin Console or Sysadmin Console. So Sysadmin Console like Identity Console is a graphical user interface but this is mainly to use or configure or manage Oracle Identity Manager configuration. Unlike Identity Console that is mainly for end users, this OIM System Admin Console is used by administrators to manage and configure Oracle Identity Manager. Similar to Identity Console, the Sysadmin Console is also deployed on Oracle Identity Manager Managed Server that means you are going to access this application as well via port 14000 that is oracle identity manager managed server port now similar to identity console the sysadmin console can also be configured in active active cluster now you access sysadmin console using same method that is oim host and then colon oim port which is 14000 but URI that you are going to use is sysadmin instead of identity. So it's SYS ADMIN. Now, not everyone can log into sysadmin. Only a user with a specific role that is system administrator role can log into sysadmin console. So if you want by default, Excel sysadm will have that role. So you can assign that role to other administrators to make them sysadmin. So this is a login screen of Oracle Identity Manager Sysadmin Console. You're ex still accessing port number 14,000, which is Oracle Identity Manager Managed Server, but forward slash sysadmin, S-Y-S, A-D-M-I-N. And then you're going to log in as user called Excel sysadm. You can't log into WebLogic because when you configure Oracle Identity Manager, it doesn't create a user WebLogic in its USR repository. It creates a user called Excel sysadm and that's what you're going to use for login to both sysadmin identity console as well as sysadmin console or system administrator console. Now, when you log in, you land on a landing page like that. So you will see some policies. As I said, I'm going to cover in subsequent modules what a policy is. Then this is where you configure provisioning. So when you install connectors, you come here and you configure things related to the connector through this tab or links within this category. Then you have users, organization, groups, and catalog. What a catalog is, we are going to cover that as I said is in another module. But you have system entities like users, groups, and roles. So if you want to modify, so let's suppose I want to add extra attributes to a user's form or I want to change something in organization. When I say change, I don't mean by creating or deleting organizations. I mean, I want to add some extra attributes to the organization itself or how organizations behave or within a role. I want to customize the role or I want to add some extra fields or attributes within a user. That's when I will use this. Then this is for system configuration. So things like system properties, or schedule jobs or notifications or import export all these things will come under system configuration how you import export where you import export we are going to cover that in a separate module similarly what a scheduler is we briefly touched about scheduler when we i was introducing the ldap sync so there are some scheduled jobs which sync data from ldap server that is oid or oud to oracle identity manager so we are going to look at other scheduled jobs or commonly used scheduled jobs as well through scheduler. So this is an example of approval based workflow. So if you need to define approval based workflows or put some approval workflow rules, you do it from here. There's also another in SOA. So we are going to look at the workflows from SOA as well. So this is another screen for approval workflows now this is a screenshot of system property so system properties 
define or change behavior of the Oracle Identity Manager. So let's suppose you want to disable the workflow. So there's a property called workflow policies enabled and you will say value is false. So this will disable the workflows. This way, the system properties, again, what these properties are, will cover that in a separate module. But for now, understand that if you need to do a system prop or change any system property, you're going to come into the sysadmin console or will modify from there. Then if you need to edit some rules related to self-service capabilities, then you can put them here. Now, when you click on any of these links, they're going to open another window like that. So within a window you have, or the pop-up window, you have a system management, and this is where you are seeing the scheduler. So any scheduled job will be visible here. Or if you need to do any system property, you will go here. Or if you need to look or configure any notifications, this is where you're going to see or come. Then there's something called as events. So anything, any changes that happen or any reconciliation job that runs, it will fetch the data and will create an event. So if a user gets edited into LDAP server, the LDAP sync will fetch that change and bring it into Oracle Identity Manager. And that change will come at as an event and then event will tell whether that event was successful or updating of that attribute was that event successful or failed or what happened. So those things like events, there'll be other things as well we are going to look at in subsequent modules. Then there are policies as well. So policies are set of rules. Again, what the policies are, how you define them, why you need them. Again, we are going to look at in other subsequent modules. But to understand all these things are part of sysadmin console. This is an example of scheduled job. We also looked at this scheduled job. So it's showing me scheduled job of type LDAP and all the LDAP related roles are now visible here via this scheduled job window. So this completes the sysadmin console. Now let's log into sysadmin console and see these things in action on the sysadmin console. So let me log into sysadmin console by going into my IP address of my machine, colon 14,000 port number and then forward slash sysadmin. So I'm on the browser and I've typed IP address of the machine where Oracle Identity Manager is running and then port number 14,000, that is my Oracle Identity Manager Managed Server and then forward slash sysadmin, S-Y-S-A-D-M-I-N. So this is my fourth console. I'm going to log in here as a user Excel sysadm. If you try to log in with non-super user, you will get a message saying no access. So click on sign in. And this is where you have all the policies or provisioning related configuration or system at entities or system configuration. And then there's something called as sandbox. We'll cover that separately what a sandbox is and how do you access sandbox. But for now, let me go and look at configuration property or maybe we'll look at system administrator or scheduler. But when you click on any of the link, it will open up a pop-up box like this. And that's where you're going to do most of the work related to sysadmin. So this is where you look and search for all the system properties. So all the properties related to Oracle Identity Manager are configured or can be configured. Their values can be configured here. So when we define properties like challenge question, so let's see earlier in Identity Console, we looked at challenge question. So you have the URL for challenge question. Are challenge questions disabled in Oracle Identity Manager? Answer is false. Does user have to provide challenge question? Which means yes. So like that, you can change the behavior of Oracle Identity Manager by going into the system properties. Then you have scheduler, and this is where all the scheduled jobs are visible. So these are all the scheduled jobs. Now, some of them are already running, some are failed or scheduled and some are inactive. The important scheduled jobs, we are going to focus them especially around catalog or LDAP sync 
or other important scheduled jobs we are going to look at subsequent modules then events i was talking about any reconciliation jobs that happen they are added as events so we have not yet configured or there's nothing at this right now because we have just done an installation this is where you define policies especially the approval policies so this is oracle identity manager sysadmin console play with this and try to do things but we'll look at sandbox and how to modify the user properties or system entities like users so in order to modify any of these we need to first create a sandbox so we are going to cover that in a separate module so this completes oracle identity manager system administration console and this completes this entire module let's do a quick review on what we have covered in this module so in this module we covered four consoles so in the lesson one we looked at oracle weblogic console where we looked at various servers or authentication provider machines clusters jdbc deployments in module two we looked at fusion middleware control or enterprise manager console for oracle identity manager in lesson three that is previous lesson we looked at oracle identity manager identity console which is port number 14000 forward slash identity then you have oracle identity manager system console or sysadmin console that we covered in this lesson that is port number 14000 forward slash sysadmin so this completes the this particular module where we looked at all the consoles related to oracle identity manager so head on to the next module in this oracle identity manager training